All right, this is part two of the rock and finds from the high wind day where I got blown away and pelted with rain, but check this moss out. This is a cool one right here. So we got all those like betrothal looking pieces in there and they look like mops and you'll see what I'm talking about on the other side. There's a bunch of right here. It's kind of like moppy looking. I don't know the best way to describe it, like mops, but they're like betrothal lines. And of course, that's what makes moss. Sometimes, usually they're in straight lines, but or straighter lines. But anyway, I just think this is a really cool, cool piece. This will probably be kept as a specimen uh, just because of the way the top is. I wouldn't want to destroy any of that. There you can see the moss lines on this side here. Pretty cool. And there you go. Moss agates. If you haven't figured out now, I just I'm absolutely it's one of my favorite rocks. But look, there's that moppy looking pattern there. One of my other videos I have a rock I found that was the whole rock was like that. It wasn't very big, it was probably like three inches by two inches, but I mean that one's cool. All right, check this moss out. Here you go. Look, it's got yellow moss. Sweet. Just the variety I find is unbelievable. So you got yellow moss. You got a little red in there. There's the back side. That was a big chip. Somebody chipped off a big rock. Probably chipped it off 40 years ago. Yeah, it's been sitting in the desert. There's some gold moss on the end. Check that out. Just really cool. Love that stuff. So neat. All right, let's see what's which one's going to be next. You. All right, so here's another one. It's one of that sunset orange color. It's very tightly packed. If it's moss, it's I call it more jasper than moss. It's more of a jasper. It's got a little agate cave right there it's got some pretty colors though some little tiny blue agates that like in that nice sunset orange color once that's all cleaned up that's gonna be pretty that's a pretty piece all right what's next okay this is another jasper so it's yellow and it's mm -hmm. like the maroonish color and I gotta work on the lighting, sorry folks. So where it doesn't shine right in the camera and blind us all. But anyway, this is a pretty cool moss. How the I love how the yellow and the maroon color just kinda like blend into each other kind of randomly. Anyway, that's a cool piece of jasper. Alright. Here's a big moss. Big moss. Sweet. You can see the volcanic ash on the top. Yeah, the camera doesn't like the light. I'm going to put a towel in there next time on the bottom so that light doesn't reflect from the bottom straight up. But anyway, that's cool. Look at the moss on there, huh? Sweet. That's a pretty big one. Look at that end. This is the problem. You're always trying to figure out how to cut it. Again, you see the lines go this way, but they're all kind of crazy in there, and they don't always go hor you know, horizontal. Sometimes they wrap around, do all kind of craziness in there. Makes you wonder how the heck were they formed, you know? Like to go all these kind of crazy ways. But I love it. I think it's awesome. I mean, that's a cool piece. That's a nice sized piece of moss, too. Again, I usually study these for a while before I even put a saw to them. Here's another piece of moss. The red moss. A lot of jasper. See, look, there's your top. So when you see that, people just walk right past that. They were like, wouldn't even pick it up. That's a cool little piece of moss. All right, what's next? Oh, this one's interesting. So look, it's got more of those, like, betrothals there. Kind of a moppy pattern, and they're like a more of a pinkish color in this one. And then you got all the, the actual physical moss from the jasper 
running through all the agate test the cool piece this one will probably be a uh, specimen as well I'll probably clean up some of the sides a little bit see if what I can hand polish on it or use the uh, the polishing wheel so yeah that's a nice one just those patterns on it's killer all right so here's an interesting one this one's like a jasp agate but it's got this pink color in it and that's why i picked it up i was trying to see how much of this pink color i can get out of it um it's definitely not um opal it's not common opal you can't scratch this stuff i, I mean I've, I've picked up enough of this that i know it's not it's so heavy um, you can't scratch it with metal. It leaves marks on it. Like the, the metal will actually leave like a metal color on it. it doesn't, but it won't scratch. So anyway, I'm curious to see if I, what the inside of that one looks like with the pink. Here's a cool one. It's got this olive green looking color at the top. And it's got this orange red moss with the olive green. That's just bizarre, huh? How the colors just like change and the, the pattern even changes from moss to like more jasper up the top. It's just really cool with that, that olive green. I don't have any with the olive green like that. I have super dark green, but no olive. Anyway, here's the back. It looks like melted wax. Like somebody just took melted jasper and just poured it on there. But anyway, those colors are pretty cool. I like that one. A little different again the variety is just i mean i just find so much different variety so this one here is i believe this one's just a jasper and it's got a cave there with some of the crystal points in there they're hard to see it's not calcite i think they're more agate but i can't tell I'll have to get in there and look at it. I need to get a microscope so I can get in there and get a good look. Anyway, that one's pretty cool. Nice, huh? I'm showing you. It's got agate lines in it. In case you don't know, I'm I'm doing the voiceover because of uh my microphone. It's on the fritz. It works fine in my video editor but it doesn't work on the actual recording of the video yeah here i'm talking about i was talking about like how to cut it like which way should i cut this when i cut it and that's what i was talking about i was like i'm not sure i'll we'll have to study it and think about it i like to think about it before i put it in the saw and run it i want to make sure i don't ruin it here's another moss check it out bright orange Look at that. Look, it's got more of that stuff. Those little turtle kind of like... Isn't that bizarre? Just how it forms like that and makes those little caves. And I mean, it's just so neat. It must have had a lot of gas going on in there to make those little pockets like that. But anyway, just a really neat moss. This is another one I'll have to study before I cut it. Do, 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 do. This one's just a chip. Again, show you the variety of the patterns you find. So you can see that would have been the outside. That would have been off a big rock. Somebody chipped a boulder. It's got some little moss pattern in there. But it's just more different variety. Here's a cool one. So this one's um, not moss, but it's a bra it's a braciated, or some people say brecciated. Uh, but anyway, so this one's kind of cool. It's got that orange and the white um, agate all up in there, and you got a little yellow up in there. Um, the interesting part with this one is I'm going to have to probably polish this on the flat lab because you know, that orange is not always stable. 
Um, and if you put it in a tumbler, it will undercut. So what it'll do is it'll cut all the orange out, and you'll have these pits all over the place, and you won't get a good polish on it. Um, again, because the, the jasper in here, in this one, doesn't look like it's highly, um, doesn't have a lot of silica in it, um, which is pretty much the agate that's in there. So it's, it's not as um, hard as the agate. So again, that one's going to be fun to polish. Here's another moss with agate on the end. Yeah, see, my phone doesn't like it when you flip this in the light. Again, you can see that moss a little bit better right there. And just some more variety. Yeah, there's a big chunk of agate on the end of that piece. Yep, you can kind of see some moss there too. Pretty neat. All right, what do we got here? What? What is this? <laughs> it looks like moss. I can't tell yet. It is. It's very tightly packed moss, and I think it is very tightly packed moss. Yeah, there you go. You can see the white there. It's very tightly packed. There's not a lot of agate running through there. You got a little bit of pattern in it, and it's more jasper than agate. Now this one definitely looks like moss. I can tell whenever I see those little white patches, but it might not be. Let's see. Let's take a look. I see some lines. So this one's going to have to be cut, but you can see those lines there. So there you go. You got a lot of white agate in this one, in the red. So here I'm talking about, like when you cut it, you, you cut it perpendicular to the lines to the moss lines and you get that moss pattern if you cut it with the lines you're just going to get straight lines or curvy lines because moss goes all kind of crazy ways it doesn't always go exactly straight anyway that's a cool piece gonna have to cut it and clean it up hopefully it gets a little better in the inside don't know until you cut it okay here comes a nice one this is a nice appreciated jasper Check it out. It's got that sunset orange. A little yellow in there. Pretty cool. It's got some agate running through there. Someone said, made a comment, said some of this looks like monarch butterfly wings. And you know what? It kind of does some of it. Especially when it has more black, more like manganese or, or um, oh, what's the other black mineral? Well, I can't think. Um, all right, here we go. Hematite was the other black mineral I was thinking of. There you go. So here's another little orange moss. You see the lines there? Kind of a crazy looking little pattern. like the colors. A lot of bright reds in there. Red and orange. Here comes another one. This one's interesting. Check it out. So this one's got craziness going on. Everything's kind of going all kind of crazy ways. It's kind of like agate. It's like a jasper agate, and it's kind of got ribbons in it versus, versus the moss pattern, which is more like here. Is more of your moss pattern. That looks almost like flames or like trees in a forest in the fall. It's pretty cool. I like that side a lot. Um, and then you can see some of the white over here. Then you can see a little moss down there. And then this side's bizarre. So each side's like completely different, right? So that's what makes it hard about trying to figure out if you try to cut these. It's like, well, what, which one do you sacrifice? You know, which side do you sacrifice? Which one looks better? All right, what we got here... So here's another moss again on the right side. You can see you got more agate in there. And the left side's got a little bit. You can see those lines on the top when I tilted it. There you go. So you can see 
And when you, that's what you look for when you look at the top. You look for those lines, those white lines. That's a, usually a dead giveaway of moss. It's not always, but it's almost always, if you're out at Lavic, that is almost always a dead giveaway. It's going to be moss. And so you can see right here, there's all the white. Look, it's got one of those Petrardo caves. And you can see all the white agate at the top. Check out that orange jasper line right there. So I'm saying this stuff is just the variety is just, you know, it just blows my mind all the time. And I mean, this is all from one location. I feel so fortunate to be able to find this stuff. Um, again, I've lived in a lot of places. And Arizona's one of them. And even in Arizona, I, I, I didn't find stuff this nice. That's where I was talking about how to cut it. Because it's like, where did you cut it, you know? Do you cut it that way? Do you cut it that way? Who knows? I'm going to have to think about it a lot before I cut it. Because I really don't want to cut out that red, that big red jasper. Anyway, just a cool piece. Love this stuff. All right. Cool. All right. I think this is going to be the last one. So, again, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all like this. I hope it brings some joy and happiness to your life. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.